Hi guys, it's Aish here. I just want to give you a live update of where all my whips are at at the moment and show you just some um, small items that I've picked up. I will... First I'll talk to you what happened with my other channel. For those of you who followed me from Confetti Conversations to this channel, I don't know what happened. One day I was using my channel and watching your videos and the next day I couldn't log on. And I, first of all, I thought there was something wrong with the app because I was looking at it on my iPad. And um, so I logged onto my PC and the channel had disappeared. I have no idea why. They, the When I try to get to that channel, it says something about that it's been disabled for um, multiple violations of whatever. I have no idea what those violations are. So I, I personally think it's in error, but there's no way for me to get that channel back. So um, YouTube doesn't have like a either an appeal system or um, an online help system other than forums, and those forums can only tell you why they think it happened um, because I don't have enough subscribers to actually speak to somebody from at YouTube. So anyway, moving on. So that's why I really, really do encourage you to um, follow my Twitter or my Instagram so I can let you guys know what's going on. So I'm just going to show you some quick, a little bit of a haul. Nothing interesting, I think, for most of us, but I thought I'd show it to you anyway and then give you an update on my whip. So I'll just go through some of the stuff that I actually bought. Um, I went to my local needlework shop, which is actually not flash at all. I tend to buy most of my stuff from 123 Stitch. Occasionally I'll buy it from Spotlight and occasionally I'll go to this um, needlework shop just so I can give them some business. But um, they don't really have much. Like I wouldn't shop there for patterns or anything like that. So I picked up some fabrics because I would just beautiful colors the first one is a Zweigart linen in I have no idea what the color is and the other one is a Joblin they're both once so this one is a 25 count it's just a nice gray color and I just thought it was pretty I just I don't know I just like the fabric and I tend not to buy fabric if I don't need it but I had to buy it and this one was just again it was just a stunning color and I think what I might do is do um, one of the samplers that I'm going to show you now on this one for myself and this is a Jobelin 28 count and it's 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 like a almost teal green so I don't know if I put them both together you can see and to give you an idea this is 50 by 70 centimeter oh that one doesn't have a price um, the Zweigart linen um, is a fat quarter and it costs 16.50 so do your calculations about how much that would cost overseas but anyway that's they're the two fabrics I got got a whole bunch of floss again and I actually picked up a couple of more flosses today because you know you always realize that you haven't picked up one um, this is all from 123 stitch and I actually picked up a trolley needle I really want to try it out and to lay down um, threads much nicer I feel like a bit like Catwoman when I've got it on um, I don't think you can do you can use a knitting needle to do the same thing I don't think there's anything different but I want to see if I could use this for two-handed stitching so um, picked one of those up and so far so good I just when there's huge blocks of color especially on a face or something like that I really like the look of that I mean you can do the railroading but there's something different when you use a trolley needle I bought up about seven or eight of these um, plastic bobbins. I have a lot of the um, the cardboard ones. This is how I do store my floss. Um, and I just put stickers on them that I've got um, personally purchased somewhere else, not the DMC special stickers. Because um, I have multiple colors on the go, that's why, um, of the same shade. And yeah, so I just picked up a whole bunch of these. And again, these were under $2. And here in Australia, they're about 4 So I had to pick up that. Just picked up another one of these hoops just for so that when I've got multiple projects. I do like working on a small hoop like this. I can do the two-handed method and I want to buy a whole bunch but I just want to see if this one, the springs mechanism was good before I purchased any more. But I can buy them here too. That's not a big deal. Um, I was having a look at my Fray Stop that I use. At the t um, and it's, I think it's an Australian brand. And it's getting a bit old and yellowy so I thought I'd pick up some Fray Check and see how that goes so I picked up one of those and what else did I pick up oh, I picked up some thread heaven as well just another one of those to keep in another separate project and then I bought needles 
The reason why I bought these needles, these are actually 18 to 24 and these are 22. I'm finding that the eye of the needle is too, I usually work with a 28 needle and when you work with metallic threads, it just doesn't work because I use, even though I'm a floss licker, I use a threader to use for the DMC metallic threads purely because it frays and I don't know how people thread without a needle threader. So, and I needed something that's got a bigger eye in it because I broke two needles yesterday, last night, so that's why I picked up those okay I do have a few whips in progress that doesn't make sense I hear I do have a few works in progress um, and I haven't worked on two of them that I've shown you pre previously these are the only three that I've been working on for the past three weeks I think it was the last time I had an update even though the update you would have seen is yesterday but that's from my other channel okay the first one is the one that I swore that I would start at the before the end of May so I can finish it by May next end of May next year and it's an heaven and earth design and it's the mini emerald for by Rachel Anderson so that's the picture there and um, just a gorgeous gorgeous picture lots of greens lots of greens this is all I've done and that's because I swore that I would start it before <laughs> um, May the 31st now I'm actually going to um, unpick all of this and start again I have been doing it in cross stitch this is on 25 count Dublin and I've been doing cross stitch and I'm finding even with um, my magnify with my contacts on and then using a three and a half magnification um, reading glasses that I'm finding it difficult to find the gaps where um, the confetti is supposed to be so I'm actually going to restart it and just do 10 stitch for that the next the other two is I've been having fun with and that's why I haven't really touched the the I think it's called the elegant geisha the, um, kit that I was doing I haven't touched that at all um, and I haven't touched the picture of my nephews as well because I've been enjoying these ones. These two designs are from Clouds Factory. The first one is um, called Ice Cross Stitch so I don't kill people. And it's been such a fun um, stitch that, I don't know, I smile every time I do it. And I think it's because I've been using 14 count as well. Um, and it's made life easier. And I've had, I've made a lot of progress. So I started this after I showed you the other one I think around just before May was the true upload of the other video so I am almost finished I think I've got probably a quarter left to go it's just been awesome um, yeah I just love it I think it's really cute so I've been doing it on 14 count and I've been using um, four strands of thread as well just to I don't know I just wanted it thick and on hindsight I probably should have used pearl cotton um, but anyway so that's that one and the other one I've made great progress is and I think I told you guys that I was doing um, this as a gift and I've got a deadline which is mid July so therefore I really should finish it by the end of June so I can get it framed um, but now I'm thinking I probably should give the person the option of whether they want it as a pillow or um, a framed object and this is the clouds factory Harry Potter pillow sampler that's the picture there so it's got the flags of the houses um, Harry um, oh my god I forgot his name Ron and um, Hermione it's got the um, the sorting hat so it's got a lot of stuff there I've been stitching uh, that so my I've worked out that I really need to stitch two pages a week some parts of it are a bit dense and the other parts are quite quick to um, finish so um, but I'll, I was thinking that maybe I even want to finish it sooner so um, this is it I'm top this is the back if you want to see it um, this is 16 count Ada um, and so this is how much I've done of it so as you can see there's quite a bit that I've done this has been a real joy to stitch and I keep on thinking of stitching May and how she's doing doing the 99 pattern with all the beer bottles and she was saying that every time she finishes a bottle that she considers it a, considers it a finish this is the same thing it's I haven't done anything that's got little bits and pieces like this in such a long time if ever I can't even remember when it's a big project and 
yeah so every time I like over finish a word um, one of the banners like the little owl the ring the diary it feels like a finish and it's like oh, awesome so it's been such a joy so it's got pumpkin juice there it's got the owl it's got the marauders map I there's something about yeah I'm just really enjoying it this is probably not a style of um, pattern that I would normally enjoy but I'm really enjoying it I'm loving the small finishes and I'm actually looking on her website to see if there's anything else that I might be interested in doing for myself but so I'm thinking I might use one of these to do this for myself as well because I'm a Harry Potter fan um, I have to say that using the metallic thread thread has been a bitch but I think think I've worked out the optimum length to use so um, it doesn't stress me um, for the white areas so with the owl it uses that extra bright white not the normal DMC white and it's even got white here and she's done it on white in the pattern as well and I don't know why but so I ended up and it's not going to show up but I ended up putting going back over so not unpicking but going back over and putting some blending filament in there I think it was 32 blending filament the Krennic just to I don't know just so it can occasionally catch the light and the white can be seen but um yeah that's it so if I just I'll show that to you again and I'm the type of person who carries over thread so if you want to see the back I have no shame so it's nice and messy um, so if we look at the picture because you'll see that I have done um, that section there most of that's all of that section there and I've done some of the pieces there as well so hopefully by the end of this week I will have finished so I've done that and that so maybe I'll finish that banner and some of the um, things there and then I'll give it a break for a while but I have to say it's been really enjoyable to use 16 count and 14 count Ada I'm loving it I haven't done it for a while and I really I think I'm really enjoying using the um, the bigger squares what do we call it the bigger count or do we call it the smaller count when the when the numbers are lower but the squares are bigger I have no idea you tell me guys okay that's it guys thank you so much thank you to all my new subscribers and thank you to all my old subscribers who have come across and found me for some of you that I remembered I actually emailed you um, I hope that didn't offend you at all I just want to let you know and as I said please follow me on my um, Instagram or Twitter purely because if this happens again I can update you and let you know what's going on um, otherwise if you have got some new videos let me know if I've forgotten to re-follow you guys because I couldn't remember like who was I following everything is lost I cannot access my subscriptions or anything like that I think all my comments on people's videos have disappeared I therefore I can't respond to any of the comments that you guys had made on those videos they've all disappeared as well so apologies um, but I have no idea what had happened I don't know what has what has become of those and why it all happened but anyway that's all guys I hope to see you soon I hope to see you with a finish sometime in the next couple of weeks otherwise take care and I'll see you soon ciao